Today I am sharing how I am upcycling one old purse into two different wreaths for fall and Halloween. Let's get started. This is the purse I am using. It is a square shaped wicker purse with these beautiful wood handles and we are going to transform this into a wreath. I'm taking a block of floral foam and then I'm gathering all of the fall florals I'm going to be using for my fall wreath. I have lots of gorgeous flowers in yellows, oranges, and reds, and then lots of different leaves. And I made sure to pull ones that are different heights. So we have taller ones in the back, shorter flowers in the front, and then some beautiful florals that are hanging over the sides, which really give this wreath lots of fun dimension. This is so easy to put together, so quick, but the effect is beautiful and I love how it turned out. This is one of those floral pieces I'm adding in that's going to hang over the front of the purse. And then I'm adding in these gorgeous yellow flowers that really add that nice pop of color. And that gets tied in with the flowers behind it, which are the orange and yellow mixed together. I really love this autumnal look with more of the brown leaves mixed with these bright florals. I'm making sure to add a few of these florals in front that are going to hang over the sides of the purse. Now that I have all my florals into the floral foam, I'm adding the foam into the purse. And this is a good time to see that everything is sticking out just the way you want it to and laying how it should. And if you need to make any adjustments or fluff anything, this is the time to do it. This is the finished fall wreath hanging on the front door. You can see those pieces that are hanging down in front really add to it and give lots of fun dimension. We have lots of different colored leaves as well as the little pumpkins poking through. Now we are totally transforming this wreath for Halloween. I'm gathering lots of Halloween themed florals this time, including a large arrangement of sparkly black leaves and these really cool purple and black flowers that have all of the silver spiders mixed in. And I also have some of the same flowers in black. To start with, I'm taking my block of floral foam and I'm sticking in this arrangement of black leaves. I separated them out so it kind of makes a fan in the back and that's gonna be the tallest part of my arrangement. Now I'm adding in all of the flowers including the black and purple ones and the plain black. And then of course, adding in these silver spiders throughout. I'm making sure to have some of the flowers that are taller and some that are shorter. And then I can bend them how I want. So they're leaning all different ways. So they look the best inside of the purse. You don't wanna cut them too short because that really limits what you can do with them in the foam. So it's best to leave the stems a little bit longer and then you can poke them in further or have them higher up in the arrangement. I added in some of these white flowers just to see if it looked good having that bit of contrast there. I am going to take those out because I thought they looked a little bit too springy for this Halloween vibe that we're going for. But you can always try different things and see what you think. I'm now just bending around the flowers, making it look as good as possible. And then I can see if there are any gaps that need filling in with other flowers I can poke in between. This is definitely the finicky part of the whole thing. Just moving things around, bending, and seeing if you need to add anything or move it around. You could leave it with this black and purple and silver theme. I thought it might be fun to add in a bit of greenery to the back. I liked how these leaves weren't too green, but they have that two-toned effect. I'm adding a few to the back and a couple to the sides of the arrangement. Then I have this velvet pumpkin from the dollar store that has a little clip on it. And I'm clipping that onto one of the stems in the arrangement. And this is the finished Halloween wreath using our upcycled purse. I hope you enjoyed this video seeing how I took one purse to make two different wreaths for the front door for two different holidays. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.